Uh, and now for the award I'd quite like to win. It's a review of the year sponsored by IMDb, the world's most popular and authoritative source for celebrity TV and most importantly, movie content. To present this award, I'd like to welcome a fellow broadcaster and film buff who might have his eye on this award too. He worked as a producer and presenter of Newsround for over 10 years and is now the BBC's entertainment correspondent. Please give a very warm welcome to Lisa Mazimba. Now, uh, I feel really lucky. My very first job in media was being a film reviewer, and I never dreamt that years later I'd be jetting around the world interviewing loads of film stars, so it's a, a fantastic way to get going, and I hope you all enjoy it. Now, of course, Interfilm itself receives around 6,000 reviews each week from its members, and all of them are read by the in-house team. The three nominated reviews were selected from thousands, with the winner being picked by film critic Danny Lee. Danny writes for The Guardian, Financial Times, and reviews for the BBC's Film 2016. Let's see what he thought of Interfilm's nominated young reviewers and who he chose as the winner. Hello, Hello. my name's Danny, Danny Lee. And I'm a film critic. Uh, I write about film for The Financial Times and for The Guardian, and I review films for BBC One's Film 2016. So I think a lot about what makes a good review, and a good review to me is one that's individual and original. Now, I've been asked to judge Interfilm's Review of the Year competition, and what I found are three reviews which are all individual and original, and they've blown me away. I want to talk a little bit about each of them. The first is a review of 2001, A Space Odyssey, by Rhys, who's 12, from Barry Comprehensive School. And I'm impressed that Rhys has even attempted 2001, because it's a movie which has baffled and befuddled critics far, far older than Rhys. Yet he's done an amazing job at picking out everything which is going on. The second movie is another Kubrick film. It's The Shining, and it's being reviewed by Sophie, who's 16 from Greenhead College. She, she tells us, is not a horror fan. She's not a horror buff, but she does an incredible job at picking out what Kubrick's doing, how it affects her psychologically. The final review is a review of a modern cult classic called A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, and it's being reviewed by Jack, who's 14, from Oakmead's Community College. And reading Jack's review, I feel his passion for this movie. I feel that he's really engaged with it. I see every riff and every reference that he's picked out in this movie. It's a great read. And I wish that I didn't have to pick just one of these critics because all three of them are so perceptive and so good. They will clearly take my job in the not too distant future. I do have to pick one though. And that is Reese, age 12, from Barry Comprehensive. So well done to him, but well done to all three of you. And you can read your, these reviews at interfilm.org. <laughs> So congratulations to Reese, the winner of the Interfilm 2016 Review of the Year. Reese. <laughs> After all these years of... Uh sitting in front of the television watching films. It's finally paid off. It's finally, <laughs> I told you, Dad, it finally paid off. Um, so I guess it falls to me to thank a number of people. Uh, my family for bringing me to London today from Wales. Uh, Miss McAllister for running the film club and uh, Interfilm uh, for hosting it today. Thank you. For any young people who would like to be here next year, get back up. on the set. Uh, that was a dream come true for me. I feel amazing. I'm a South London boy, and to be here in this position.